Hello and welcome. My name's Tris and this is Double O'Neill and I went to Trains at Trinity. Mike Bash from my Model Railway Club was exhibiting here and he mentioned about this. So let's take a look. It was held in the Trinity Methodist Church, which is in Biggles Wade, which isn't too far from where I was. So it now was drive to get there. And I got there and there was lots of layouts, there were trader stands, so that was nice for me. I picked up a few items whilst I was there, a few bits that I hadn't seen in other places, so that was great. There's plenty to look around at and there was kind of three rooms that it was split over. So they had a nice spread, it's a bit for the kids and a bit for the adults to go and enjoy spending their money as well as looking at layouts to inspire them. First came across this little bit here where we had the rocket going backwards and forwards and as you get down the end you'll see there's a developed version of the rocket and it looks great I guess it's rocket not the rocket <laughs> anyway this is old copper knob which was made in 1846 so she's an old girl this is a model of it and it had its stand out copper uh, firebox area on there which is you know, a bit of a great looking loco and uh, the guy that was on the stand, he explained quite a bit about it and gave me some bits of pamphlets about it, which is really interesting to look at, actually. This is the banner that was by the Friends of the National Railway Museum. This layout stood out to me <laughs> pretty early on. I, it had some different looking rolling stock, which I hadn't seen before, so that was interesting. And as far as I understand, a lot of that this guy's made himself, which is wonderful. There's a part of this layout which you'll just see here on the left, which is the water tower, which is made from a tender. And I just thought, was that like that in real life, or was that him having some fun doing this? And he said at Upwell Railway, they had a tender. He said it was on a wooden stand, though, to get up there, whereas he's modelled a metal one. But <laughs> for some reason, that caught my eye, and makes you want to add that to a layout at some point because that would be quite fun but I'm going to leave you to it for a bit you can enjoy watching these clips I enjoyed going here I tried to focus on some bits of the layouts that well, I'd normally look for really sometimes I'll come and look at bits and just film locos running where the modelling has really been on the layout and I wanted to show you some of the different clips and areas um, that I found interesting anyway, so I hope you find some inspiration from some of these areas to help you with your layouts because the more and more I'm getting into this hobby, the more that I want to develop certain areas. It's not just put a tree here, a bush there and a building. It's what else can I add on? What's going to make it unique? What would have been there in real life back in the day? That's something that I'm sure you're all going to relate to in a certain way. And if you don't, fine. Uh, but it's something that I've been thinking about. So enjoy the next 25, 30 minutes. Can't remember exactly how long it is as I'm doing the narration. I forgot how long it was. But thank you for watching and enjoy uh, the coming video. Hopefully it's nice and relaxing. And hopefully you'll get over to a layout that's near you. An exhibition soon and you can go and enjoy it too. I'm not sure 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 I'm not
coming on right now. Give us a couple of weeks, about two months later. I mean, the cheeky so and so. Um, I need another couple. I need another couple of these. One for me and one for a friend. So I found that Danny have you got? I said, yeah, but I haven't got instructions. But you don't use them, do you? No. Like a cheeky so and so. I've got loads of DNS kits. I mean, the one thing you can say with this stuff, if someone thinks, can I build kits? Choose any of Danny's. It will work. Without having no idea. Yeah, like any of them, you've got to sort of take care when you're doing it. You're not going to find a bit doesn't fit or a tab doesn't go in. Personally, I think you're bloody mad. <laughs> Do you know who St. Jude was? St. Jude? No, but I'm guessing it's um, this big knuckle of Oh, this is based on the Wiz Beach. That's yeah. why you've got ooze. Oh, well.
Oh no, I'll just do whatever you're doing. I'll just join into whatever that is. That video? Yeah, I was going to do a little, uh, little video upload. Mike Bash Railways. It's on a truck down here. Yeah, my uncle sent me that. Yeah.
Yeah. There's great big swathes of open country land and farm. Most green. He's actually on the I've got relations in Black Knockley. Yeah. Chelsea. And where's the other one? Uh, I remember the other one. Crescent. Crescent. This would be also the farm we used for our ones. And this is the demo. Yeah, there. I like the multi gauge. Sorry? I like the both gauges on there. Yeah, it's what we call narrow gauge and narrow, narrow gauge. Are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. these like you know, chickens? Yeah. <laughs> Chicken coop.
TT at home or is this is belongs to uh, Jack or Betty Okay. I see, that's very kind of you. Mm. Very true. I do have a bit of TT but that goes to represent uh Narragate, so on the scale. Oh okay. Yeah. Then of course they brought out the Egg Bar, which was the next to Costa and then cheaper ones came out. So
room on the railway. Oh, you're not in there. It's a 50 mil lens, so I'm, I'm on the track. I would like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers that have been tuning in and enjoying all my videos so far. Hopefully this nice, relaxed model railway show was also an enjoyable one for you. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought. If there's anything in particular that you liked or you'd like to know more about, if I can maybe answer that, I will try. Also, a big thank you to my patrons and my channel members. Your support is always appreciated. I hope you've liked the video, if you do like it then please hit like, if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe, you'll get to see all the future content. I enjoyed doing this video today, I hope you enjoyed it too, you take care and I'll see you soon, bye bye.